Godzilla. Level 2 Upgrade. So fairly recently in an update video I said I was going to be making a conversion between the slash bodies to a roll cage. So in this upgrade that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to take off the body, body mounts, and then put on a slightly used integer roll cage. Now this is kind of not the best combo for this um, chassis straw that I have to keep it clean, you know. But it will be a crap ton stronger than the normal bodies. Like I'll show you later how beat up that is just from like a couple months of use. But anyhow, let's move on to the upgrade and what we have to do. So let's quickly inspect why these slash bodies suck so much. So. First off, you can see that I have this aluminum tape on the edges. This was originally to keep cracks from developing from the body, just from normal crashes and stuff like that. And you can see that these are all over the body. And the worst one I have is over here, which has nearly taken off the whole left to back. I forget the name of this. Anyhow, I'm still trying to think about it. But yeah, you can see all this um, falling off paint. That's my own fault for not painting it correctly with patience. And yeah, it pretty much just won't hold up in crashes. Then it bends, and yeah. They're just total pieces of crap. If you, have, if you still have a slash body, make a conversion to a roll cage or something like this, because as you can see, this is not in good condition. We must start off by removing the two screws that hold in the body mounts. And it's on the front and rear holding onto the shock tower and you're going to undo it by using your 2mm screwdriver. Excellent. Now we're going to take out the four screws on the front and rear differential housings and we're going to put in some bigger ones for the roll cage. Now it's time to install the roll cage. For the front, I'm going to be using this size of screw and putting them into these holes. Now I know when you get this um, roll cage, brand new, they give you longer screws for the front and the rear. You really don't need them for the front at all, as you can see from these size of screws. Like normally they're twice as long. As for the rear, you do have to use the ones that they include. So I've finished installing it and it's nice and secure. You can see, I can rattle it all around. It's not loose or anything like that. And so now it's time for the before and after, and then that's pretty much it. Here's before. And here's after. I'm not really sure if I like the look of it with the roll cage or not, but honestly I can't complain. It's super strong, it acts as a chassis brace, I don't have to worry about bodies breaking, and just all this stuff and I can get back to driving my RC like I've always wanted to when everything works right. This is excellent. Talk to you later.